Continuing coverage of the controversial Edgewater redevelopment project delaying two city meetings. The night team's Maria Guerrero explains this likely further delays that $93 million project itself. Maria? That's right, Eric. The developer, Hamas Company, was set to come forward to the city's Landmarks Commission, hoping the project would be deemed appropriate for the historic Mansion Hill neighborhood. The special meeting set for April 14th to reconsider the project's certificate of appropriateness has been delayed at the request of the Hamas Company. The planning division says the developer wants more time before coming forward with the project's latest changes. The council member who represents the neighborhood, Bridget Maniachi, says that the delay is not uncommon. It, it's just a complicated project and um, the city is working diligently to work through the issues and to take care of it in a timely manner and there, you know, you have to allow for um, hiccups along the way in scheduling and notification requirements um, and and it's it's pointless to rush it through. Hamas Company also not part of the city council meeting set for April 20th partially because the developer has not yet sent in its TIF application to the city. The developer is expected to come back to the Landmarks Commission April 26th. And Maria, we understand opponents of the project also seeing a bit of a setback, right? Yeah, that's right. A group of Mansion Hill residents sought eight signatures to challenge the conditional use of the project. However, the city found out that two of those signatures were not eligible to take part in the petition. Maniachi also tells me the opponents have also missed the 10-day window to file an appeal. All right, Maria Guerrero in our news center tonight. Maria, thank you very much.